All right, here we have a uh, LG 42P J350. It has a um, clicking. When you turn the TV on, it just clicks. I'll show you what I mean. TV's plugged in. All it does is just clicks. And I'll show you guys how to fix that. Pulled out of the TV. Um, the power supply number is EAY609 one two four zero one now this water has a fault where it clicks um, and it doesn't turn on the TV after a few clicks and sometimes it would turn on so what we check for is the fuse first which is located right here okay and then we uh, there's three fuses on this board actually so there's there's one there there's one right next to it and one up here okay now, before working on the board, um, make sure it's all discharged so you don't get an electric shock or anything. <clears throat> so we focus on the main areas are these two resistors up here. The 5W22R0 J, OJ. Um, and then we look at this right here which is your voltage regulator and right next to it right below is it the diode so those are the main components that you want to be focusing on um, and I'll show you how to do that take them out of circuit and, and test it and then put them back in and let's see how we go um, replace the IC chip that's on there replace that tiny little diode there and those two resistors up here now going back to what I said previously about um, the diode that's uh, that's in there, it looks okay. So if you test it in circuit, it will it will read continuity. Um, but uh, so there's the diode there. Hopefully you can actually see that. It's not too blinding. All right, so um, I've got my multimeter on uh, diode test mode. I've got my um, lead here, so I've got this here. Uh, Place it on one side of the diode, and then I have a look at my multimeter. So you see the multimeter. I'll see if I can place it here. So you can see it. Okay, hang on. Right. Oh, great. Okay, so there we go. All right. So you've got your diode there, and what happens is if you touch on this side. Obviously, you would read OL. That's fine. Um, so you switch it, and you place it on this side. See how it reads 0 0.203. So that means that's a bad diode. Um, that means that also that IC chip that's behind, as it's in front of that um, diode, is also gone. So to test diode is uh, anything within 0 0.407 to 0 0.7. So 0 0.4 to 0 0.7 is is a good range for a diode. But um, obviously this one reads um, above that, so which is not, uh, sorry, below below those 4.2 readings. So this one reads uh, 0.203, so which is no good. So yep, replace that out and um, try it out in the TV. And let's see how we go. Um, place the power supply back into the TV. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier the power supply uh, number is... E A X six one four one five three zero one forward slash nine. So that's your PCB number, and then obviously it's the same. Uh, e A Y six zero nine one two four zero one is your power supply unit number. So if you're ordering, if you need to order a new power supply unit, then um, then that's the bottom number that you need there. Okay, so um, I've put the board back in. All the connections are made. All done. Let's just plug this lead in and let's see if it's going to work. So we go to the front of the TV, grab the remote, 
press the power button and let's see if it's going to come to life. We press that. And there we have it. It's back to life. Press the volume button. Change the channel. Obviously I've got nothing um, plugged in so I can't really show you. Um, but yeah, so there we have it. Back to life. So just to rephrase what we did previously. Um, so we changed to these two here, these two top capacity, uh, sorry, resistors on the top here, five watt, twenty-two ohm. Um, and then we changed that little diode in there, just next to it, just next to that little resistor in there, if you can see it. And then we changed that IC, and that was about it. So obviously I had these components laying around, but you can find them at your local. Um, local, um, what you say, electronics store. And that's it guys. Hope that helped.